Thank you for clicking on this Fun with Pete and Sherry video. I am your host, Mr. Julian. Uh, with me, as last time, is, is uh, the beautiful Miss Hope. And we're going to be reviewing this fantastic scotch, this 30-year-old Balvenie. This is older than I am. Uh, yes, and, uh, and we believe it is a mix of uh, sherry and bourbon casks. Um, married together over years. Um, they're being a little coy when they when they're talking about this, but matured over three decades in traditional and European oak casks. Traditional and European. They don't want to say bourbon and sherry because I don't know. That's that, that would be too. That would be too low rent. Yes. For all right. Poor, my dear sir. Okay. Now, let's see what we get here. It's rich. It's deep. I get to the caramel. Oranges? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's orange, and then there's deeper caramel in there. And um, getting anything else? Oh, you're jumping right in. Okay. It's alcohol. It's made to be drunk. And holy shit. <laughs> it... Whoa. I don't have any fancy words to say, but it's really damn good scotch. Yeah, this is, a, this is like the... Um... It, it is. It is just. A, um, it's like an van, orgasm in like, your mouth. Yes, I mean it's so soft going down. That's that's the really amazing thing. It's just it, it just glides over your your mouth like you're not like you're not experiencing anything. And it, but then there's there's vanilla and honeysuckle, um, caramel. These very light flavors, very light. Maybe creme brulee a little bit. Um, they make the top of my tongue like the. They make the top of my tongue feel really tingly. Whoa. Mmm. So and it's yeah, got okay. a little, like, it's, it's warming, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't have that, like, you know, it doesn't sear you right down the center. It's, like, it's more just a happy, effervescent feeling. That is such a magnificent scotch. That is actually probably the best whiskey I've ever had. Uh, um, yeah. Um, it's this damn is. Good. Uh, the last time I, I had this, I remembered it, it being a sort of a nuttier, but I don't get any so much that. This is, this is very light, vanilla, caramel, um, creme brulee, um, but believe that there's sort of like orange cream as you, di as you dive in deeper. It does have a hint of smokiness to it, too. Hmm. It's usually just a trace of that in Balvenie. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. I said hint, but yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's more like a, oh my God. It's so good. <laughs> Is it so good? It's like, well, you know, I'm sip. I'm, I'm, now I think I poured too much of this because I, I like, I, there's no way, I, there's no reason to drink that much of it. It's like one yeah, sip of it, is. and it's of like... Of course there's a reason to drink I, that much of it. I, I, it's just, What is well, wrong with you? I, I don't know. I'm like, my my palate is like, satisfied. Anything else would just be overdoing it right now. I'm just like, uh, I'm still experiencing that. Well, no, go ahead then. I like it. I it is amazing. I more. It is amazing. Oh my God. Well, maybe we should try the water thing. I want to know what it's like if it's been like. Okay. What do they call that? Opened. Opened. Bloomed. So we will get back to you in half an hour about this. Um... So it's been half an hour, and we're back with this now slightly wow. open. Uh, Balvini. 30 year old Balvini, and let's see. Still the rich caramel more than anything else. And, and, mm, 
That's Moxie. You can put Moxie up on the table. Hmm. Yeah. And and nuttiness. Um, this this reminds me of. Oh, it's really fucking good. Holy if, if, if you're right, that the single barrel Balvenie fifteen year olds that 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 we used to get that were so good. Um, this is very much like that, but even but even better. So Have you tasted it yet? Like, mm -hmm. oh my god! Shut up and drink. Yeah, yeah. No, you see, you see a lot of of um, Balvenies with secondary finishes, but the thing is. Uh, Balvenie, more than most scotches, works best in like a refilled um, barrel, like a, not in a first fill barrel, because you don't want some strong taste from the outside covering up what you've got. You want to get just, um, you want to get that, that, um, the spirit itself coming through. And this is, this is that, this is that uh, quintessentially Balvenie, it's, 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 it's fruity, nutty, um, simple, but uh, buttery really buttery i see the nut now like mm. before before we uh opened it um i didn't i didn't really taste any nuts but n the nuts really have come yeah the nuts have really come out when you um when you twist this then you can see that those are the uh the tears and legs rolling down Lovely. you see the um yeah mm -hmm. now the uh those tell you two things how um how thin or thick they are tells you the how much alcohol content there is. Well, they're very thin. Yes, very thin, so that's high alcohol. This is where we're at 47% here. I like here. that. And, um, and how slow they go is simply a measure of how much flavor. Now look at that. Look at how slow that, I've never seen one go that slow. That's like caramel oozing down the side of the glass. Right. It's like watching those slugs fuck is what it's like. <laughs> those leopard slugs. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I mean it's God. beautiful. Man, I mean, it's it's good scotch. It's damn good scotch. Yeah, that's as good as it gets. I gotta give this, I mean, this a, a is rating. This is the kind of scotch that you tell your grandkids about. What's the highest rating I ever gave anything? That now I uh, give it a nine point eight. I don't, I don't want my fans to see me like this. 